So we just got my mystery tackle box in the mail. It's the Ice Fishing Box Elite. And I always get these later than everyone else because I live way the heck away from where anyone lives. And let's see what we got. We got a tungsten P3 plastics jig. We have some ADK custom jigs. These are some funky looking plastics. We got, oh, that's just what says what came in it. We got some Vexen Glow Resin Trebles. We have this Binks Ice Spoons Chain Dropper. We have this Lindy Glow Streak. We got this Lunker, Lunker Blade. We got these Sub-Zero Tungsten and Wonderbed color. We have this Lindy Tungsten Toad. And we got some Widowmaker jigs. This is a pretty good box, actually. I don't know, these jigs are probably overpriced, but we got quite a bit of things. I would say this is a decent box. So we're hooked up on this jig that came in the end mystery tackle box. We caught, we've only caught fish on one of the jigs this one has not worked very well so far so now i'm going to try putting down some of these adk plastics on this jig that's like i don't know what color that is like a chartreuse wonder bed or something we're going to see if it works we caught just a giant perch on the plastic we should see if that little spoon worked that i was using in that although i was cheating and had it tipped with the grub We just caught another perch on that jig with the plastic. I think we're going to try some of the other jigs to try to slam this. That jig on this other rod does not seem to be working. We should actually move it to this hole. So we're all ice fishing. We're using some of our stuff from our mystery tackle box and screwing around. This is the fancy Vexon hook we got. We put in a minnow on it, seeing if it works. I already caught a bluegill on the same blue, on a jig that I... I caught bluegills on last week from the box, so we're going to see how it works. We're going to set this right off bottom. We we're hooked up on our fancy treble hooks. This is a little pike. I think it's a little pike. It could be completely wrong. It's fighting like a little pike. Vexen glow in the dark red hook. It's a decent little peche a la broche, and of course he swallowed it. You're gonna be a pain in the butt to deal with. Really? We finally caught one on that big jig too. It's a decent box. So we just put down this P3 plastics jig and it immediately caught a bluegill. And I don't even have the flasher down the hole. That is a dink though. So I've caught fish on everything in this mystery tackle box, but this Lunker Hunt blade bait. I don't know, I think I'm going to put down a chunk of work, a little minnow on it, just like I did with that other bait, and just drop it down and hope something hits it. We're hooked up with a good one. Did it get off? No, it's still on. I know it snagged up in the other line. Holy shit, that thing's just peeling, Drake. 
that lines in at least. This will be a big pike. I haven't even seen this fish, so I don't know how big it is. I can see the line. There's only like eight feet of line left. I can see the mono. Is this a, or is this a big bass? This fish is big, whatever it is. Oh, it's a kitty cat. Holy shit, he can barely fit up the hole. It literally, do I have to drill the hole out? Because it's, the things are kept keeping me from getting out of the hole. Don't get. Holy shit, that's a nice kitty. And it has a pit tag in it too. That's interesting. We need to figure out this thing's been in here for a while. So here's some underwater camera footage from the day. Most of it is just bluegills nipping, nipping at the bait. I did see a northern on the camera when I don't think I was recording. And I, there's a catfish that comes in and some perch. But anyways, on the Lindy Ghost Glow Streak, which is a big orange jig bait, I caught a catfish. On the Lunker Hunt Lunker Blade, I caught a couple perch. And I tipped that with a little minnow on the bottom hook. And the Cast Cray Outdoors Party Time Tungsten Ice Jig, I caught some bluegills. On the ADK... Custom Jigs Bones, I caught two perch. On the Binks Ice Spoon, I caught a bluegill and a bunch of perch. I caught the bluegill when it was tipped with the wax worm. And I caught the perch when I just put some really tiny minnows I had on the dropper hook on the bottom. On the Vexen Crystal Reaper treble hooks, I caught a northern and a perch. And it had... A northern snap the one off and the p3 plastics U uv sunset tungsten jig i caught some bluegills on and the lung lindy tungsten toad jig the bluegills didn't really like because it was so big but i did end up catching a bluegill on it so that'll be it for this video I'll see you on the next one. I probably won't slam any of these boxes for a while successfully because they're going to be, I'm getting a walleye box this next month and I definitely probably won't be able to catch walleyes on all the baits in it in March. And after this, there's a whole bunch of more fish catches I caught of mostly bluegills and perch because the bluegills and perch are biting really well. And I ended up catching a whole bunch of them. I was literally catching action and I didn't even need the flasher to catch them.
So that bay caught a kitty. Guess what we caught on this whatever lure that I have. We caught a perch. So we successfully slammed this mystery tackle box again. That's two months in a row. These ice boxes must be easier to slam though. Especially if you have a place with lots of aggressive fish. So we just caught this bluegill on the, just a jig on bottom. Stuff's messing with that zippler or whatever. I call it, sorry if I call it a zip, it's whatever Lunker Hunt made this like a zippler. Another bluegill. Spoon with the middle thing. That's an all right size perch. So we just started ice fishing. We got this giant of a bluegill. There's a whole bunch of them down there. You'll probably catch these one after another. It's quite windy out though, unfortunately. We should drop this little jig down on the camera though. That fancy Vexon hook is on this rod. It's something is messing with it. I see my thing has completely fell under. And then we just have most of big stuff to slam in this box. I want to try dropping down. That small jig I dropped on the hole, not even using the flasher, and it instantly got a bite from Mr. Bluegill. That's a big deal for him. Did it swallow it or can we release it? You might go on social media. So we caught a bluegill on this little spoon that came in the box. So we put down a little hunk of waxworm on it. I don't know. I still have this big... Was that a hit? No, that was my braid cutting into the ice. I still have this big rattle bait and a zip-like bait. I'm only going to fish it on this line that has 20-pound braid on it, though, because I know there's lots of pike in here. I should have got a smelt to put on this rattle bait. Let's see if any. We're all checking set lines. It's like nine o'clock. Yesterday we had some major ice issues. We still, I didn't record, but I still did manage to catch two walleyes and a sauger. This is the first fish on so far. And we got ourselves a little walleye. Another walleye. We got a fighter. Holy crap, is that peeling drag. Look at that fish. That fish is a monster. Oh, and I got caught up in my other line also. That is a Slobosaurus. We caught another bluegill. Wow, wow, wow. I wonder if one's robbed that little tip of the yacht because. We did catch one on the hook and we know that's right here. So we got one. Oh, it's a fighter. These fish just keep slipping into each other, into the other line. That's funny. It's not that too. Got another bluegill. recording. I guess we can the camera here. We got another one. Crafty little bluegill. There's a decent That one came on the plastic. We are checking set lines. We're at first one. There's a walleye. Decent walleye. Too. 
we're hooked up again. we got another giant perch. we should use these for bait.